daily chores over there. I don't want to spill this. This is hot. <laughs> yeah, don't spill it. So today's the day where we're working on the heater. I, I, I say we. It's a team effort, right? I support you. Yeah, she supports me even though I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is a heater, I think. So I need to remove this hose. There's the electrical right there. You can kind of see it. But then the issue is the propane, which is that wire right there. And I say it's a wire, it's a hose. The issue that I'm having is everything that's online is how to remove it and then put it back. So everyone's like bleeding their lines. Um, you know, they can turn off the electricity break or stuff like that. That's easy. What I'm having trouble with is I need to find a way to disconnect it entirely and then not use it again. So um, I need to learn about propane hoses, uh -huh. I guess. I guess I'll just show everything that I'm doing, all my mistakes and everything. So feel free to call me out on it. <laughs> there seems to be a hole yeah. in the RV. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna leave it? <laughs> no, we're gonna close <laughs> it off from both sides. But yeah, this is actually... Did you find the breaker? The... No, that's why I haven't touched the electric yet. Oh, okay. If we can find the breaker, that'd be nice. But the you can even go show it real quick. Uh, you can see that it's not marked right now. What? So there's nothing that says furnace. And then... Uh, you know, the people that sold it to us didn't mark off everything. I wish they would, because that's what this section's for. Oh. They, they marked off main breaker, which is obvious. It's a 30. But everything else, I don't know. And then I can always pull just the, uh, the fuse off of it. Hmm. But I need to find out which one it is. Appliance. Well, the good news is that there's no... I don't know. There's no chance of us using it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this is way past the cold season here. You just have to watch out, just make sure you never put it on heat, which is all the way on the other side. And if you do, it, it won't hurt anything because you should know to turn it right back. Mm -hmm. I've never accidentally put it on heat. Yeah. Me either. In my life. Oh my gosh, look at all that room! <gasps> Ew. Ew. Oh, there's all the moisture. Yeah, it definitely got wet back there. Wow. Not a whole lot, but I mean, it's... Yeah. Okay. Look at that room, all that room for activities. If you're over the age of, <laughs> it's really height. I don't know, maybe your oh. height would be good. Can you walk underneath here? I don't know. Not at your head? I, uh, no. Yeah, I know, you're <laughs> definitely forehead height to that thing. <laughs> you can put a bin or whatever you want to right here. That's true, yeah, now that we have this room. I seem to finish Except that'll these, be Brady's new toy box if my shoes are right there. Hmm. We'll just have a, have a field day with it. Workout done. How do you feel? Weak. Wait, that guy's taking his lawnmower to the gym? Yeah. I didn't know they were allowed there. Yeah. Okay, we worked out. That's the end of the vlog. <laughs> Sweet. Just kidding, I can't buckle my seatbelt with one hand, hold on. All right, um, surprisingly, went pretty well. My workouts have been pretty dang good since I mean, I guess since day one, because that's my thing. Like, I look forward to it. It helps to relieve stress and anxiety. Um, and I was telling Matt that I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, whenever I work out, I don't feel super pregnant or super tired. I feel one of those things. So I don't, I think it's like a mental thing because I'm so used to just kind of pushing through during workouts that I don't, I don't even notice it. But when I work out, I feel, I actually feel relatively normal. And I think that's why I enjoy it so much right now. And not that I'm going like super hard as, as I keep saying, cause I'm sure a lot of you are going to be concerned seeing me deadlift. Um, that's like 50% capacity. That's like 50% of what I used to do. So it's way scaled back. Like that's, that's easy for me. I don't know, I just, I think I'm able to, to kind of tune out worries and fatigue and all of that stuff. And so I just work out, but I also get to a point where I know that it's time to call it. And so that's usually about five or six exercises in, which is usually where I stop. So I don't know, it's a good workout. How was yours? 
good. I did like what? Three exercises? Yeah. You could have done more. I could have, but I didn't. You could have superset it. Let's do something on blends. It was a good workout. I did leggies and armies. <laughs> you know, those are the technical terms. Cool story. Yeah. My, my leg just hurts, so. But I want to strengthen it so I can run better. And so, further. I'm gonna run further, as Buzz would say. Back here again. We're about to live here. <laughs> the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Oh my gosh. What? That's awesome. What? Is, it, is that what that one is? <laughs> That's so cool. That's awesome. Oh my see? gosh. What the heck? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm using that tonight. Oh uh, yeah. By tonight I mean like right now. <laughs> Not the TV though. Here we go. <laughs> this one and this one. All right, so we're back. We almost hit two animals on the way home. But we didn't. But we didn't. So Matt's a good, careful driver. So that's good. We got some leftovers. We had food. I look like a floating head right now. Everything's really dark, and then. Well, you're wearing a black also. Yeah. Um episode of Game of Thrones was stressful. I think that's the best way I can put it. It was stressful, but it was good. And now we're just, he's gonna go get the dogs because they're with the uh, the grandparents. And then we're just gonna go to sleep. That's our day. What? Well, you're not gonna sleep tonight? Nope. I'm all amped up on Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> but we do have, we have um, an appointment tomorrow. We have our centering class at the birthing center. So, it's our last one. Kind of a big deal. I'm curious if any of the other ladies in our group have had their babies because they're all due before me, pretty much. I think except for one. So I'm curious if anybody's had their baby yet. What's that? Oh, your, your mug, your cup. Pretty That's cool. Pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Yeah, you want anything to add for, for the day? Uh, yes. I didn't show anything outside. Like I said I was going to do, so I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> Did we show all this? The, the, the heater's still here? Yeah. So the heater's still here. <laughs> we went show. to Lowe's and bought some stuff to remove the heater, but I haven't had a chance because we went to go to Austin for uh, Game of Thrones, so I haven't been able to play around with the propane, the electric. So yeah, it's still just disconnected but connected. So it's not attached to the ground or the wall. Uh, we have the component that might work to be able to actually just disconnect it and be able to leave it in here. Worst case scenario, I just pull it out of the entire RV and not worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna go bags in the, in the truck, but I was gonna show us a little, little baby. We feel like little baby. Little baby with clothes that I'm gonna take with us to the birthing center because we have to bring two outfits. Oh my gosh. Look at how tiny. Ah! <laughs> Look at the, the hat. The hat's kind of big, but that's fine. And then... Look at these little mittens. These little tiny little mittens. <laughs> <laughs> We ended look at the little socks. Look at the teeny tiny little socks. The voice is necessary. <laughs> you're look at you're that. holding them upside down. <laughs> look at that. Yep. Oh my gosh. Pretty soon there'll be a baby inside of that. <laughs> <laughs> Fill it. Instead of being inside of this. <laughs> hmm. Any day now, guys. Yep. Any day.